Jackass star Steve-O is known for his wild and sometimes childish stunts. But never one as crazy, dangerous, and illegal as this. He's exploding fireworks 150 feet above the streets of Hollywood, all while standing on the edge of a giant construction crane with an inflatable whale. This is chaos! You're something else. Yeah. Uh-huh, I, 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 mean, I would say so. It's been, I would say, my singular goal in life to be a memorable person. Well, no one will soon forget that stunt. And now, in an exclusive interview you'll see only on Crime Watch Daily, Steve-O tells me why he did it, why he was dangling over Hollywood for a stunt that he's about to do some hard time for. OK, sure. so in Hollywood, mm -hmm. there's a crane. Right. And then there's you. I thought, OK, well, I'll climb a crane. But that, in and of, in and of itself, wasn't a big stunt. Mm -hmm. So I figured I'll bring an inflatable whale, and I'll inflate it and have it say, SeaWorld sucks, and get a cool shot. SeaWorld, the popular theme park. That's the reason Steve-O says he caused such a commotion. All, he says, to bring attention to the killer whales held in captivity. All right, so if I say SeaWorld to you, the one word that comes to mind is what? Cruelty. And you obviously wanted that message to come out in a major way, because that's all you do is things in major ways. Right, yeah, moderation's not my strong suit. Stevo says he was inspired by the 2013 documentary Blackfish, which claims SeaWorld abuses its collection of orca whales. <laughs> SeaWorld has consistently denied the allegations and cites its long record of rescuing sea creatures. Everybody knows you're crazy, you're out there, but this is for real for you, though. Yeah, all animal rights issues are a big deal for me. And that goes back to my time as a professional circus clown, which I was before Jackass. And I saw firsthand the, the like, grossly inhumane treatment of animals in the circus. His first SeaWorld protest came in 2014, when he climbed onto the freeway exit sign for SeaWorld Drive in San Diego. He covered up the word drive and put Sucks. Steve-O was fined $239. Here we are in Hollywood, man. It's go time. But this time, the TV clown is in serious legal trouble, charged with suspicion of trespassing, setting fireworks without a permit, and conspiracy to commit a crime. By the time I get up there, <laughs> uh, 80 firefighters, 18 cops, a helicopter, and a SWAT team converge on the construction site. And uh, I'm looking down at it. I'm thinking, I am in a lot of trouble now. So I better hurry up and blow up my fireworks, you know, to save the whales. Were you scared up there, Steve-O? Seriously? Yeah, I, I mean, I'm like watching scared. you. I'm like, what the? What? I, do I, I need to go up scared. there? I had already promised I was going to do something pretty crazy the day before, and so I couldn't back out. One slip up. Right. Right. I know. That is a lot, a lot of fire trucks. So at any point in this, did you say, you know, uh, no, stop, don't? I do have a level of remorse about the wasting of city resources on this crane stunt. And uh, it's fitting that I shouldn't be in as much trouble as I am. I deserve it. When Steve-O climbed down from his perch, he walked right into the long arm of the law. Yeah, Shamu! I did it for you! After spending the night in the pokey, Steve-O didn't just bail out, he literally bounced out of jail. You, you spent that night in jail? It took some time for me to get processed because um, nobody was quite clear on what to charge me with. You know, like uh, simple trespassing wasn't going to do the trick. So what does SeaWorld say about Steve-O's stunt? In a statement to Crime Watch Daily, SeaWorld says in part, we will leave commenting on this publicity stunt to the authorities. SeaWorld is committed in every respect to the welfare of our animals. Steve-O pled no contest to the trespass and fireworks charge. They dropped the conspiracy charge. He was sentenced to 30 days in the tough L.A. County jail and three years probation. <laughs> He says his conviction is like a badge of honor, and he actually asked to be sent to jail. If you're going to make a statement about captivity, you know, might as well get yourself locked up. 